Good morning, everyone. It is Friday, September 25th. TGIF, what a week it has been. Um, you may notice Amy is not with me. She actually got a part-time job. So I'll be flying solo for a little bit. We're happy for her. We miss her, but we're happy for her. Um, so, so much has happened since last Friday. Um, I don't know if you, I hope you follow the Facebook page, um, but we got word that we have permission to have the 51st annual Mummathon Road Race. Yay, I had a ta-da all set and I accidentally deleted it. So ta-da, we can have our road race. Um, for those of you that don't know, this is one of Bristol's longest standing traditions. It's the 51st annual running of this road race. It's traditionally part of the MUM Festival. And I know everything this year is touch and go. Um, so we just got word on Friday that our, our plan that we worked out with the health department was approved. So we can have our race, people can basically come run and leave. So nothing like we used to do in the years past. Um, you just come in, you socially distance yourself from the other runners, you run when you are instructed to run. We're gonna have a staggered start and our timekeeper is helping us with that. Come, run, and leave. Um, couple of quick things about the race. Sunday, October 18th, we're asking people to arrive for eight o'clock. We are hoping to give out the packets um, to your bibs and hopefully, you know, God willing, the t-shirts come in on time. We can give out the t-shirts and the bibs ahead of time. We're going to do that the week leading up to the race at the center. I will stay open late um, most of the nights that week. Um, and then for those that can't make it for some reason, we're, we're working on an alternate plan. Maybe as you're driving in to the parking lot, we'll be able to have stations set up and hand you your information. But you know, we got to go, go, go with the flow on this one. Um, so Sunday, October 18th, arrive at 8 a.m., St. Paul Catholic High School, Sphill. Um, everything will be outside, so pray for good weather. Um, there's no vendors, no spectators, please. That was one thing um, that the Department of Health really wanted us to stress. Um, it's the congregating of individuals. So no spectators, no vendors, no water on the course. Um, we will have water as you coming in across the finish line. We will have a table set up with um, individual bottles of water spaced out so you can grab a water and then just head to your cars and leave. We will do a Facebook Live. <clears throat> um, we haven't scheduled it yet, but we're, we're gonna get a feel from everybody. We'll either do it later in the afternoon or um, into the evening and do like an awards presentation type of event for everybody to log into Facebook and see. Um, I think that's, those are the big, big things. Um, oh, and it's just the race. So normally in years past, we have um, the Monster Mile, which is a fun run for the kids. People use it as a walk. Uh, untimed event, that's not happening this year. There's no trick-or-treating, there's no um, no activities afterwards. It's really just come, run, leave. I, that's been my, my logo that I've been saying all week long to people about it. Um, it is $30 to participate. This is also important for those of you that love and like to collect our famous glow-in-the-dark shirts, and I have one. I can show you last year's, give me a break. I can't show you, no, I can't show you this year's because it's always a surprise, but um, 
This was last year's shirt. And for those of you that have them, you know they glow in the dark. So they are really cool. It's, it's a really funky shirt. Only guaranteed for the first 100 people that sign up. And guys, I looked this morning, we are already up to 43 registrants. So get your registrations in. We really, and <clears throat> a little caveat to add on to that, get your registrations in this weekend because we have to order the shirts like yesterday. So get your registrations in this weekend and you are guaranteed not only a shirt, but the size you need. So that's important. I hate telling people you can get a shirt and then not have the size you want. What good is it then? You know, you're going to pass it on to somebody because it doesn't fit you. Um, <clears throat> So I'm, I'm super excited about it. Um, we have some spectacular sponsors who have already come on. They really, you know, when we found out we got the um, permit okayed, we um, reached out to some of our regular sponsors with an SOS and said, hey, can you help us? You know, we, I, let's be honest, everyone. I, I didn't think we were gonna get the permit. I, I was holding out faith, but every week that went by that we didn't get it, I was getting really worried. So thank you to our sponsors who have already stepped up to the plate. Um, there's still time if you are a business or even an individual and you want to sponsor, um, the sponsors go towards the cost of the t-shirts, it goes towards the, um, postage. We're going to have to mail all the prizes out, probably. I, yeah, I'm just looking at some of the registrations that come by. If you're local, we'll drop it off at your door, but more than likely we're going to have to mail these out. So we need sponsors to help us with postage. We need sponsors to help us with the t-shirts. Um, sponsors will help us cover the cost of the timekeeper. Um, really, there's not going to be a lot of swag bags this year. Um, it's kind of a bare bones, just letting you run. And so um, if you can sponsor any sponsorship over $200, now this is last year's shirt, you will get your name on the back of the shirt. So if you are, again, an individual or an organization, a business, and you would like to sponsor, please um, reach out to me ASAP. Um, by Monday at the latest. And even if you give me a written commitment, um, we'll get your name on the shirt. I want to give a shout out already to Bristol Health, who has again stepped up to the plate. They are a gold sponsor for us this year. Thank you, thank you, Bristol Health. Um, you know, they are a tremendous partner with Veterans Strong Community Center, and I can't say enough how much I love partnering with them. Also, thank you to D'Amato Construction. I believe they are a silver partner with us. Also, shout out to CV Mason Insurance here in Bristol. They are a bronze. I'm trying to remember, I forgot to pull up the database that I have. They are a bronze sponsor. Thomaston Savings Bank as well is a bronze sponsor and the last one we have so far is, oh, Bristol Police Union, bronze sponsorship. Thank you so much. We, we, we love our boys in blue. Um, and we hope to see some of them out there running. Hint, hint, get your, get your registrations in. Um, I also need to give a shout out to Keiko Print, Bill Azito. He is helping us get all the, some of the signs all set up and ready so we can get those out to advertise as well as CompuSign over in Plainville. Thank you for your help and being Johnny's on the spot and helping us get these letters. Um, sorry about that folks. Getting the, the numbers for our signs all squared away. Oh, and I can't, I can't go without thinking Broad Street um, storage. 
thank you, Henry Martin. Uh, it gives us a storage unit to keep everything in, all the signs and the goodie, old goodie bags and all of the stuff we have for the Mammothon. Thank you so much to all of you for um, keeping the faith with us this season and stepping up when I reached out to you within the last week. Thank you again. All right, I will have the links to, um, we have a link where you can register directly online and pay with a credit card, or we have a paper application that you can print out and scan in, email it, mail it um, back to me and pay using um, check, money order, PayPal, or Venmo. Um, if you do, I know this is a lot of information, everyone, but this is what happens when we get into crunch time. If you do PayPal or Venmo, just in the notation, there's always a comments field, put in your sizes, um, the size t-shirt that you need. And that way we'll know and we can get that order in and count you as the first 100 because remember only the first 100 are guaranteed a shirt and we already have what did i say it's like 43 i think i looked this morning 43 45 in that area um okay i think i'll come down now i did have a cup of coffee right before we went on so that's about the mamathon so that has been my focus this week in addition to working um, and partnering with Connecticut Department of Veterans Affairs for their stand down. Um, mixed feelings about it. Uh, I know it was difficult with it being virtual. Um, I you know we put it out there. We had a school, we had Tungsis at Bristol willing to let us come in and do everything live. Um, no one took us up on our offer though. So in hindsight, that was probably a good thing. It was not, uh, the virtual part of stand down was not organized how I thought it was gonna be organized. I thought it was more um, a presentation like this and they would have just the multiple presenters. You know, they would do someone from agency A and then B and then C and so on throughout an hour, then take a short break and then do the next hour with a new set of presenters. It was more, they had their agenda for the day and I, I think I've already filed it away. Um, but like in the first hour, there were six different agencies and organizations. You got to pick which one you wanted to log in to see. So for instance, I did have one uh, former National Guard member come in who needed information uh, from the DMV. <clears throat> so we had to log into the DMV's room, so to speak. Um, so we really didn't see the other presenters unless we went in, logged out and logged back in and went into their rooms. Um, but I will tell you, in helping her yesterday, um, the presenter was very knowledgeable. I can make my lips work today. Um, and the issue that she had, the, the DMV has temporarily set up a dedicated email for veterans and service members who were reaching out to them because of stand down we emailed them yesterday morning i want to say 10 o'clock they've already emailed me back on her behalf this morning resolving her issue um so as soon as we're done here that's my next phone call is to try and reach out to her and let her know how the issue was resolved so i will say from that perspective it was very efficient um the presenter was very knowledgeable it, you know, it, I'm ready, just let's move on to 2021 and, you know, maybe can we 
flip ahead to the spring of 2021 and maybe all this will be done. Um, but it is what it is. Um, everyone knows I'm here. I'm here Monday through Thursday. We're open for appointments 8.30 to, to 3.30, last appointments at 3.30. Um, you know, I normally don't leave to take a lunch, so that's why I, I close the door at four. If I don't have an appointment, I close the door at four. But I really do need to stress the appointments. Um, we've been a little lax about it, and I, by we, I mean veterans and myself alike. Um, but having the appointments gives me the opportunity to make sure I'm cleaning and sanitizing. So it's I'm doing it, um, yes, for my own health, but more importantly for you. A, a lot of the veterans we deal with are of an older age group. And I would hate to think that someone would get sick. I, I don't like knowing <clears throat> if I have the flu or something and someone gets sick, let alone anything else that is going around. Um, so please, please, please remember it is by appointment only. I know it may be somewhat of an inconvenience, but in the long run, it's better for everybody. Um, lost my train of thought. So stand down. So yes, yeah, so I'm here. Um, the resources that they provided at stand down are a lot of the resources I have here. So we can always put you in touch with someone plus you can come in, we can sit, we can talk, we can triage, we can get a game plan in place. Um, you know, there's just for an example, I, and I'm not taking anyone's um, situation, sharing anyone's particular situation. That's why I wanted to go with that. But if a veteran comes in and you're a little frazzled and Oh, I need a job and I need a house and I need money and I need this. And okay, time out. Let's strategize. Let's, you know, list everything and then prioritize. Um, you know, people come in, oh, I need a car, I need wheels. Okay, do you have a job? Um, do you, we kind of got to figure out what comes first, the chicken or the egg. Sometimes it's the job. Sometimes you need the wheels to get the job. It, it's, we got to play that game a little bit. So um, come in, speak with me, make an appointment, come in, speak with me. We'll strategize, we'll prioritize, we'll get you in touch with the right programs and services. Okay, moving right along, because I don't want to keep everybody um, all morning because I do have a very busy day. Um, so yes, on Fridays, I don't take appointments and that's because I wanna spend the time doing a recap for everybody. Um, but then also I have um, reports for the week I need to catch up on. Um, you know, the good thing about COVID and a little of the shutdown was I got caught up on reporting, but I very quickly um, can get behind again because I do so much Monday through Friday, I need to document and report all of my activity. Um, and then I can't even tell you how many phone calls I need to return this week just because I, I ran out of time every day. So I probably have about a dozen phone calls. So if you've called me this week um, looking for information I haven't gotten back to you, that is why, and you were on my to-do list today. So that's why I take Fridays off. I, I've had, I've heard some grumblings and I've heard some complaints. I won't say complaints. I've heard some grumblings. Um, but that is why I, I need that day to um, catch up on everything else and do all the, the yellow fully paperwork that goes along with something like this program. Um, Quickly looking at next week, if there's I, I, there's nothing earth shattering coming up on the schedules. <laughs> I feel like I say that a lot. Everything's been canceled until further notice, um, but we're starting to come back. We will be at the farmer's market on uh, Friday, October 3rd um, at the Bristol farmer's market. 
which is directly across from City Hall. You will be able to find our table very easily because we will have our big mummy with us. Um, if you haven't seen our mummy that we we had made for the Mummathon, you are in for a treat. And I encourage people to come by and sign up for the race. Um, sign up and <laughs> come by if you've got the kids with you and you want to take pictures with the mummy. We'll certainly have that available. You can snap a picture with and have the kids near the mummy. He's really very cool. Um, and one of these years, we will do a name the mummy contest. I promise. I keep saying we're going to do it, and it just time gets away from me. Um, but really, I mean, it's the end of the month. <laughs> we'll have a new newsletter out. Um, hopefully, I'll I'll have it out on the first, if not the thirtieth. Um, we still have our spice sale going on. So if you don't know about these spices, it's Nutmeg Spice Company. It's a locally owned business. Um, they have been kicking butt. You know, people talk about some businesses that have really been excelling during this whole 2020 COVID-19 situation. Nutmeg Spice Company has definitely been excelling. I And I, I say it's not just because I like their spices, but because I had to stop over and they are always at top. Um, they haven't had to cut any staff. Um, no employee cuts. They've actually hired people. They've expanded their um, shipping and receiving area, I think, um, at their warehouse. So I mean, really, they are phenomenal and they are phenomenal helping us out with this fundraiser. Um, I have jars here, but I don't want to go off camera because they're over in my storage room, but I'll show you our, um, so if you can just see, this is our, our spice sale. These spice bottles are soda can size. <clears throat> so you were really getting a tremendous amount of spices. I gotta tell you, they are all awesome. Um, I, I haven't found one we, my family and I don't like um, from rubs to spices, just your traditional like salt and pepper type of stuff and oregano and basil to ice cream toppings. And now they came out with dip mixes. So their dip mixes are phenomenal. If you would like to try a dip mix before you order, um, we have some samples available. We took some of those uh, plastic disposable shot glasses and put some dip mix in it. You just have to mix it with four to five ounces of sour cream and you can test the dip out. Um, guys, we were originally gonna close this out at the end of September, but we're gonna keep it open for a little bit longer, um, maybe till mid-October, because we really want people to take advantage of these spices. Um, they're, they're awesome. And it, it, everyone seems to love it when we do it. They range in prices um, from six to seven dollars. Really, it kind of depends. Most of them are seven, like the, the rubs and blends are about seven dollars. There are a few that are six. The dip mixes are seven dollars. The herbs and spices go from five to seven dollars, depending. Oh, there is one that's $8. I think that's their highest priced item. It is the pink Himalayan pink sea salt. That's one I am getting this year. I got to make sure I put that on my list. I didn't even put mine down yet. Um, but they've got, they've got everything. And if there's something like if, if you come by or you ask me to send you one of these, or you want to see, I did a, um, single sheet of all the different spices. If you want it, um, I will post it up in the comments as well. And if there's, if you see some, if there's, okay, let me stop, rewind. If there is a particular spice or rub that you know nutmeg does, 
and you would like it, we can add that in um, and make that part of our fundraiser as well. So it's kind of an open, open policy with that. Um, additionally, when you come by our booth on October 3rd, we will be starting to sell a calendar raffle. So we decided we would do a calendar raffle for the month of November. If you don't know what a calendar raffle is, for, I want to say we might be selling them for $10. So for $10, you get a raffle ticket, you get a calendar, which is basically a raffle ticket for a drawing a day. So every day in the month of November, we have an item that we are going to raffle off. And even if you win, say you win on November 3rd, your name is still in the pot to win for, you know, we pull it on November 15th. So you have multiple chances to win for $10. And see, this is where I need Amy because she's been organizing this whole thing. Um, I believe the November calendar raffle there, it's very, a very eclectic thing. We were trying to go with a tailgating theme. So you'll, you'll see some more spice stuff in it. You'll see some uh, holiday themes. It, it's more of an eclectic one. We're going to do one in March though. Heads up. Uh, what falls in March? St. Patrick's Day. We all become Irish on St. Patrick's Day. So our calendar raffle in May um, will be an adults only calendar raffle if you get my drift. So uh, stay tuned for that. But please come out and see us on October 3rd at the Bristol Farmers Market. We're there from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Um, you can sign up for the Mumathon. But you're going to do that beforehand because you want to make sure you get your shirt and you get the size of shirt you want. Um, you can take pictures with the mummy. You can check out our spices. You can purchase a calendar raffle. I feel like I'm forgetting something. We've got a lot going on because we're trying to um, keep up the momentum that we're still here. We know a lot of people are still worried about going out and doing stuff, although it doesn't seem like it, but a lot of our older veterans, um, yeah, I know they're still afraid to go out and we do have some homebound. So we're just trying to keep up the momentum um, and supplement some of our, our fundraising efforts because there was a lot we couldn't do this year. So, um, Upcoming in November, just to give you a kind of keep it in the back of your mind, we will have a blood drive on November 12th, and that is going to be at St. Joseph's Church in Guildhall. So we thank St. Joe's for um, being a host site for us. Um, as part of the blood drive, we were we are raffling off a handmade Afghan patriotic theme. I haven't seen it again. This is something Amy is working on. Um, Amy gets to do all the fun stuff now and, and I'm working with all the clients, which is fine. I love it. I, I love having someone else take some of the stuff off my plate. Um, also in November, we will be having a restaurant night. We're going to Moe's in November. Um, all around Veterans Day. So we will keep you apprised of all those dates. Um, we are still looking for people. If you would like to do our patriotic pen pal, you can always sign up, sign up directly through our website with that. Um, And I really, I've been losing my train of thought. There's so much going around in my head right now. Um, oh, I do I have a note here on my desk. Um, and I'll put this out on Facebook as well. We do have a, a veteran that is in need of some household items. In particular, 
we are looking for a set of king size sheets. Um, I know this particular veteran and I, you know, I only ask needs, I only share needs of those that, um, you know, we, we really have no other options for them. Um, so if anyone is out there and if you're, you're a great sales shopper or um, you have a spare new spare set, um, you could really use a set of king size sheets. He was looking for a comforter too. That got taken care of. I, I, we took care of that already, um, but the sheets, king size sheets, um, cotton, that's all he said. Um, and I, again, I can vouch for this individual. He's a really sweet veteran. He's one of our Vietnam veterans. So if someone can lend a hand and help us out with that, that'd be great. Other than that, I, I, I can't think of anything else. I guess if anything else pops into my head, um, I will put it out there on Facebook. You know I do. So um, tomorrow, when I'm gonna sneeze, allergies. Okay, baby dot, sorry. Um, tomorrow at the Bristol Farmers Market, please stop by and visit the Exchange Club slash Mum Festival booth. Um, they really are an awesome group of people. They do a lot in the community and not being able to do Mum Festival this year, this would have been Mum Festival weekend. Um, not being able to do Mum Festival has really um, put a damper on their fundraising. So we're gonna be out there so helping support them. Um, I think they've got a couple of fundraisers themselves that they're working on. So please um, get out there and help sponsor or help support um, one of our par community partners, the Bristol Exchange Club and Bristol Mum Festival Committee. Um, it, this year is just, uh, like I said, I'm done. Let's fast forward, put an asterisk by 2020, and let's move on. Um, I think that's it, everyone. I want you to have a great weekend. It's going to be beautiful out. Um, enjoy it before the rain comes, but we need the rain. Oh my gosh, if anyone hasn't heard, um, Bristol has issued a water warning. Um, Forgive me, I just saw it the other day too. Um, the odd and even days um, to conserve water because we are so low in our reservoirs. It's really bad. I may even take a drive up to Colebrook this weekend. I wanna see how bad it is up there. So I'm gonna to end today with the thought for the day. Special times forever to hold memories with Friends are worth more than gold. That's a nice one. I love that. So everyone have a spectacular weekend. Enjoy the weather. Um, enjoy your friends. We're here. Appointments only Monday through Thursday, 8.30 to 3.30. First appointment at 8.30. Last appointment at 3.30. We are closed by four um, and just have a great weekend, everyone. Stay safe, stay healthy.